Hey there everyone, I've got a new product from It Cosmetics for you guys today. I have it on today. It's called Confidence in a Compact. And some new things from Lorock, the California Dreaming Collection. So first of all, the It Cosmetics new foundation. So I have had this on for several hours and I can tell you exactly how it is worn because I've had it on for a while now. This is the new Confidence in a Compact. It says it is a skin transforming full coverage super solid super serum. The color I got is of course fair. I have that on today. So what this is, it's kind of different than what I thought it was going to be. I kind of didn't pay attention to the whole fact that it says it's a solid product. <laughs> so what this does for you is it has their um, serum in it. It has their confidence. They make a cream called confidence in a cream or confidence in a jar. It has some of that ingredient in this so that it's, you know, giving you skin benefits while you're wearing the foundation as a foundation. So here's what you get. You open it up and it is a compact with a flat sponge in it. You open this part up and it is a solid product. It has a wonderful lemony smell. As you, so it comes with this flat sponge. You can either dip in and sponge it on, on or you can use a brush. I kind of tried both methods today. I'll show you. So here's the product just with me dipping my finger in it. It is quite thick. It is definitely a solid. It's sticky. And there is your product. This is a really good color for me, I believe. It is a good color match. So there's the color on the back of my hand. And now you can see what it's like. This product is very greasy feeling. It is very emollient feeling. It is not a powder foundation at all. It is a solid balm type foundation. Here it is on the back of the sponge and I'm going to dab a little more around here because as I've had this on today and not for very long, it has evaporated quite badly while I'm wearing it. I did have it on full coverage. I had it on, um, I've had it on for maybe four or five hours and it has kind of evaporated in places right here. There is almost none left on my forehead and very little left on my chin. Let me blend those edges out. So this is kind of a problematic um, product for me. The way I put it on today, I started out putting it on with the flat sponge and I didn't like the amount of coverage. I like it to be pretty full coverage to cover up my discolorations that I have on my face. So I went back with a flat brush. This is just an old Bare Minerals foundation type brush that I have had for a while. I went in and dipped into the compact with that and applied it that way. That I felt was a much better way to apply. With the sponge it was kind of going right in my pores. With this brush it was buffing in a little bit better. The product does glide over your skin quite well. It doesn't stick in one place. It's not hard to move. It's not dry in the, or does, doesn't cling in that way that some um, full coverage foundations do. You're able to put this on light to full coverage. That's not a problem. However, it is very sticky. It is very greasy. It is very oily. I cannot imagine wearing this in the summertime. I just cannot imagine because here it is the winter time. I'm not sweating and it has dissolved and evaporated so quickly during the day. I did powder it. I used the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder that I have. That's a good setting powder. I put it on rather heavy because this is such a thick, sticky product that I wanted to sort of powder it down pretty well. I think the look of it is pretty good. It looks pretty um, radiant. It does look full coverage. It's pretty dewy. It looks nice. It does cover my discolorations pretty well. You can build it pretty well, but it just doesn't stay on very well. So pretty, but greasy. I think people with oily skin, there's no way, no way I can see anyone with oily skin using this. It does not block oil at all. I have normal to dry skin, and this is kind of too greasy feeling for me. But I do enjoy some of the Lorac products I've recently bought. This is, these are part of the California Dreaming collection, which is sort of a late winter collection that they did. They have an early spring collection out, has everything to do with brunch. I love brunch is what it's called. This is the California Dreaming set. Late winter, it's supposed to evoke sort of the feeling of late winter in California with the different colors of the sky, the different sunset, etc. I did pick up the blush palette in the California Dreaming collection 
and I have some of these colors on today. These are really quite nice, very soft. And you have two sort of shiny colors in here and two matte colors. I have on the two matte colors today. I will show you those first. So we have a color called Ray, and we have a color called Wavelength. Wavelength has a lot more pigment to it than you would think. Oh, it's, it's, it's there. See? <laughs> you don't have to use much of it to get an effect. What I did today was I did put this on sort of almost as a contour underneath my bone, my cheekbone. And then I put this just as a dot right around my apples. So kind of you got a contour effect with those two colors. And then you have your two shiny colors. This one here is called Sunlight, and this one here is called Golden Hour. Now this Golden Hour is probably way too dark for me to ever use. It is definitely a bronzy orange, burnt orange color, and then Sunlight is right there. But I think they would be good sort of to transform a blush a little bit. You put a blush on, you say, ah, that's not quite the color I want. I think these would be pretty to transform a blush. This would be pretty on top of that one, I think. <laughs> so those are your four colors and your four colors. Very nice palette, very soft and pigmented. Let's dab a little bit of that sunlight on top of what I already have on, just to sort of warm it up a little bit. See how there, it's kind of hard to see with the highlighter I already had on, but it's a little bit of a golden uh, bronzy look there. Those two shimmery colors would be really good for medium to deeper skin tones. More from the California Dreaming Collection. I have two of the lipsticks. These are the Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks. Now previously, I want to say when they first came out with Alter Ego lipsticks a couple of years ago, they were terrible. The formulation were t was terrible. They were very hard dense and dry. I mean, it was really hard to get them on your lips. These are nothing like that. They must have reformulated them because these are just like a dream. I have been wearing these heavily in the last few days and they're so smooth and comfortable. I have the color called Snow Bunny and the color called Beach Babe. I've been wearing both of these. I really love Snow Bunny. So here's Beach Babe and they're so, com oh man, I just slid that on there. It's amazing how it, it just glides. It's a glossy type of cream formula. That's Beach Babe. And they smell wonderful. They have that vanilla, vanilla-y sort of hot cocoa, but with vanilla in it <laughs> smell. They are wonderful. Um, so comfortable to wear. They last really long. This one is called Snow Bunny. Snow Bunny really comfortable and easy to wear. All day, every day type lipstick here. There, you can see that um, sunlight a little bit better right there on my cheek, but it's really quite pretty. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Grab some of these new Alter Ego lipsticks. You'll love them.